Okay, so start na tayo ng discussion natin. So ang topic natin ngayon sa calculus 1 is yung higher derivatives. Itong higher derivatives ma-apply pa rin natin dito. Yung mga uh, derivatives of sum, der difference, uh, power formula, chain rule, and the derivatives of product and quotient na na-discuss natin previously under ng algebraic functions. So start tayo. Examples. Okay, so let's have an example dito sa higher derivatives. So, example number one. Okay, so example number one ng higher derivatives. Sample number one. Okay. I love you, baby. So let's say we have y is equivalent to 3x raised to 4. Minus. 2x square minus 5. Okay, so yun yung function natin. And ano yung hinahanap? Find the second and third derivative. Ayan. So, let's find the second and third derivatives of the function y is given to 3x square minus 2x square minus 5. So, of course, ang domain natin dyan is x. So, we can write dy over dx or y prime for the first derivative. So, first derivative ng function na to, we have 12x raised to 3 minus 4x <coughs> minus 0. So, hindi na, hindi na natin 0 kasi constant naman yung kaya 0 mathematic 0. Ito yung first derivative. First derivative. Next, we have the second derivative which is yun yung hinahanap ng problem natin. Second and third derivative. So, d square y over d x square equals y double prime. So, para makuha tong uh, second derivative, i-derive lang ulit natin yung nakuha natin kanina ang first derivative. So, 3, 12x, 3 minus 1, minus 4. So, 4 lang ang derivative ni 4x. Okay, so we now have, 3 times 12, we have 36x squared minus 4. So, ito na yung second derivative natin. So, second derivative. Next, para naman sa third derivative, kukunin ulit natin yung derivative na second derivative. So, we have d q of y over d x raised to 3 or y triple prime. So, i-derive ulit natin ito. So, we have 2 times 36x raised to 2 minus 1. Okay? So, itong derivative ni 4 which is constant siya, so 0 siya, din na natin siya oh. susulat dito. Okay? So, y triple prime is equivalent to 36 times 2, we have 72. So, 72x na lang, kasi 2 minus 1, 1. So, din na natin susulat. So, ito na yung ating third derivative. Okay. So, tapos na tayo. Na-solve na natin sa example 1, si second derivative and si third derivative. And kung ako magpapoints nito, syempre, yun lang lalagyan ko ng score. Yung second derivative and third derivative. Okay? Next, example tayo. Example 
number two and sample number two try natin yung x is equivalent to 1 over 5 t cube minus 2 t square. Okay, yan. So, ang domain na natin dito is c t. And, ang hinahanap dito is find the x uh, third derivative. Third derivative ang hanapin natin dito. So, yan. Find the third derivative. So, let's say we have dx over dp is equivalent to 3 times 1 over 5 p cubed minus 1 minus 2 2 times 2 t raised to 2 minus 1. So, simplify natin. dx over dt is equivalent to 3 over 5 t squared na lang. Minus 4t. Okay? Yan. So, 2 minus 1 is equivalent to 1. So, ginan natin siya siya. So, ito na yung first derivative natin. Ngayon, pukunin naman natin si second derivative which is d square x over d t square. Lagyan natin ng mark na first derivative dito. First derivative. Okay? So, ito. Dederive ulit natin to para makuha natin yung second derivative. So, 2 times 3 over 5t raised to 2 minus 1 minus derivative ni 4t is 4 na lang. Okay? Simplify. So, we now have 2 times 3, 6 over 5t. Okay? Ayan. So, derivative ni negative 4, 0 na siya kasi constant. So, hindi na natin siya sa sulat. So, ito na c si second derivative. Okay? Yan si second derivative. Ngayon, para makuha natin si third derivative, e eh, derive ulit natin ito. So, d cube x over d t cube. We now have, so, anong derivative ni 6 over 5 t? 6 over 5 na lang. Diba? So, ito na yung third derivative, which is yan, yung hinahanap ng problem natin. So, gina natin ng box para ma-highlight na ito ang ating final answer. Ayan. Okay? Yun si example number 2. Now, let's go to our last example. Example number 3. So, guys, I remind ko lang ulit na lahat dito sa higher derivatives ma-apply pa rin natin yung mga napakaralan natin previously. Okay? So, let's have the function y is equivalent to uh, a raised to 4 parenthesis a minus x parenthesis, close parenthesis raised to negative 3. Ayan. So, dito, hahanapin natin si y prime and y double prime. Ayan. And of course, ang domain natin dito is si x. So that means si a ay isa. constant. Diba? So, ang mapapansin ninyo, dalawa yung term natin. We have this a raised to 4 and is considered as one term kasi, or tama, kasi nasa loob sila ng parenthesis. Okay? Kaya ang gagamitin natin dyan is yung uh, formula ng derivative of product. Okay, so solution. Solution. So let u is equivalent to a raised to 4 and v is equivalent to a minus x raised to negative 3. So note ko lang yung formula natin ng na derivative of product. We, na, we have uh, u dv plus v dv. Okay, dv over dx. No. Okay. So, ano derivative ni a raised to 4? u over dx is equivalent to 0. Kasi nga sabi mo kanina, constant si a. 
Now, ito naman, dv over dx. So, apply natin dyan yung chain rule. So, negative 3. And then, a minus x raised to negative 3 minus 1. Multiplied by the uh, derivative of a minus x, which is equivalent to negative 1. Final dv over dx is equivalent to negative 3 times negative 1 will be positive. So, 3. So, a minus x raised to negative 3 minus 1, we now have negative 4. Yeah. So, ito na yung dv over dx natin. 3 times a minus x raised to negative 4. Yeah. So, apply na natin, kunin natin yung first derivative using the this one. So y prime, y prime is equivalent to u, u natin, a raised to 4. And we now have our dv. dv is 3, a minus x raised to negative 4. Okay? Yan. My plus, plus, v natin, a minus x raised to negative 3 and du natin is equivalent to 0. Okay? So, automatic, itong second term natin will be equivalent to 0. And, ito, ito naman is uh, so, a distribute lang natin. So, we now have a raised to 4 times 3. We now have 3a raised to 4 a minus x raised to negative 4. Ayan. So, ito na. Ibox na natin to kasi isa na to sa ating final answer kasi inahanap yung first derivative. So, ito yung first derivative natin. First derivative. Now, kukunin na natin yung second derivative by uh, di di differentiating this first derivative. So, gagamitin ulit natin yung uh, formula natin ng derivative of a product. So, mag-let ulit tayo dito. So, ang ililet naman natin dito is let b is equivalent to 3a raised to 4 and b, b is equivalent to a minus x raised to negative 4. So, katulad natin ng sinabi natin kanina, or sinabi ko kanina, na si a is constant. So, du over dx is equivalent to 0. Yeah. Zero na yan. Now, dv over dx is equivalent to, so apply again chain rule, negative 4, a minus x raised to negative 4 minus 1, and the derivative of the uh, terms inside of the parentheses. So, we now have negative 1. Again. So, finalize natin yung dv over dx natin. Negative 4 times negative 1 is equivalent to neg uh, positive 4. And a minus x raised to negative 5. So, yan na yung value ng d over dx natin, dv over dx, u, and v. Now, kunin na natin yung second derivative. y double prime is equivalent to u. Ano yung u natin? 3a raised to 4. 3a raised to 4. And then, dv natin, we now have 4, 4, a minus x raised to negative 5. Ayan, kasing ko lang. So, minus, plus pala. V, hmm. so a minus x, a minus x raised to negative 4. And then, yung du natin is equivalent to 0. Automatic, 0 na lang. So, ito naman, distribute. Distribute. Okay? So, we now have 3 times 4 is equivalent to 12a4. Oops. Okay, simple lang. 12a4. A minus x raised to negative 5. Ayan. So, ito na yung 
second derivative natin. So, second derivative. So, tapos na tayo sa example number 3. Okay? So, final answers natin, lagyan natin. Answer. And then, answer. Oh, yan. So, yun lang si higher derivatives. Okay? Yun si higher derivatives. Thank you for watching.